Happy New Year's, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year's Eve. All right. Um, this video going. Uh, what's good, everybody? What's good? What's good, Donovan? Gotta get this video up in the air, man, before uh, it gets too late. Oh, life get to popping. All day brushing for greatness. All day. All day. What's good? Hey, what's good, Ace? What's the deal? What's the, what's the deal, T? What's the deal? Happy New Year's, everybody. All right. Um, we about to get this video up off the ground, okay? I decided to do it live because I prefer live videos. That way y'all can ask me questions. Um, I will do an official review video real soon. Uh, of course, probably in a day or two or week. You never know. But we doing the luxury bomb. All right. Luxury bomb today. All right. So first of all, it's still a butter, all right? It's still a butter. Uh, it's more, it's it's called a bomb because it's thicker and it's also for skin. Um, so head to toe, but today I'm using it for my hair, of course. This has been the only butter that I've been using the past three weeks. <laughs> maybe, maybe not brushing, maybe, maybe not. But um, the only butter I've been using for the past two, three weeks, man. Um, I pretty much been running these together. It's pretty much all I've been using. I haven't needed any more uh, other products. I just recently got a cut, maybe four or eight, five days ago. I didn't care for the lineup of it, so I kind of didn't show y'all. But uh, we're gonna get this brush session in with the Lux Butter. If y'all got questions in between ask me I'll do my best to answer um so let's get into it the first initial uh, thing that you will notice is that it smells like bubble gum let me turn this down smells like bubble gum I dropped kind of a mini demo on Instagram if y'all didn't see it the other day but it's real creamy all right, and it breaks down real good. We're gonna we're gonna get it popping. I need my mirror. If I got my mirror, I'll be right back. Back. Had to get the mirror. What's good, everybody? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Happy New Year to everybody that's just coming in. Um, let's get this uh, video going. Um, so, I'm going to tell y'all why I like this butter. Okay. First of all, it smells good. A lot of butters out there smell like pancake syrup. Shit like that. <laughs> Feel me? A lot of these butters smell like feet. <laughs> a lot of these butters leave you with a lot of buildup. And this doesn't. So, this is the breakdown on it. All right. And it's pretty thick. It spreads pretty good. It distributes pretty good. Um, I liked it a lot because when I was wolfing, it was I used it like a pomade. It has a good hold. So 
anybody thinking about copying it um that's got real thick hair i would suggest it and it makes your hair grow too so it's it's what's good daryl it's pretty good man i'm not here to sell the butter to you i'm just here to brush with it right now so if y'all got questions, I'll answer them. What are everybody doing today, man? What are everybody doing today? If you're staying in the house, that's fine. I'm debating doing the same thing. But what you doing? Keep it real. Don't cap. What you doing? You staying in the crib? Gonna have a few drinks? Chilling with the fam? What's the deal for today? Waiting to get off work, then get tipsy. I know that's right, Daryl. You ain't wrong with that game plan, bro. <laughs> it's a crazy world out here these days. You never know what's out there when it's when you jump out on them streets, man. So we on a medium brush right now. Waiting for my wave slime and regal up all vents. You will not be disappointed. That's a bomb combo, bro. The shine is A1 on this too. It's got a um, pumpkin seed. Okay. Pumpkin seed is a real good versatile oil that not a lot of people are using in their butters. A lot of the butters out here got real basic ingredients. Y'all getting charged hella for. My bad, I'm back. But um, a lot of these butters out here, man, they feel with shea, coconut, mango, blah, 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 blah. No coconut, no mango, no shea, all right? No, none of that, all right? A lot of people got allergies. A lot of people don't uh, like shea butter in their in they hair like me. Some shea products I get along with, some I don't. Um, but no coconut, no coconut, no shea, and no build up. You're not gonna get that flaky build up like a lot of these products give you. So y'all know I rock with the I'm fluff gang, and I'm not gonna bring y'all nothing that's not a one. Um, it's pretty much like put you in mind a sweet Jamila. Only for the simple fact that it's head to toe, hair and skin. Um, but with Sweet Jamila, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. That she was too thick. It clogged you up. Um, and it didn't work well with other products. You know, mixing well with other products. So, um, that's another reason why I like it. It mixes well with other products. It absorbs quick. It's not greasy. And you can hop right out the shower and use it for a glaze if you want to. What's good, everybody? Happy New Year, everybody. Natural intelligence. I hard brush a lot during weeks three and four and up. Um, so I just got to cut. Maybe like four days ago, so I use mediums and softs. 
90% of the time. I wash with hard brushes at all times. I wash with hard brushes. Yeah, that's a medium. How long does it keep you moisturized when you use it alone? Uh, two to three days, bro. Two to three days. No cap. Two to three days. Two to three days. And you won't need nothing else. You won't need nothing else, man. Not even no oil. The shine holds up for two to three days. Your hair stays dark and shiny. Hola, J Beats. What's good? So y'all gonna see a lot of this. Um, I'm gonna be using a lot of this, man, for the next two, three weeks because I'm not wolfing long this time. I'm gonna wolf for four weeks and get a cut. <sighs> yeah, Daryl. That's that's my favorite combination, the Regal 9 with it. But you really don't need nothing with it, to be honest. It leaves you shining. Um and What's good, Wavy J? Yeah, man. Um, Chris, I see a lot of people do that, man. And I don't, I personally don't get along with that. My hair starts to curl when I, um, when I'm washing with a brush that's not a hard brush. Um, but I've seen a lot of people have some really dope results like that, bro. All I can say is try it. If it work out, keep doing it. If it don't, don't do it again. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> uh, Tyree, man, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Any Torino or any uh, royalty, bro. You can't really go wrong. You can't go wrong. When do I wash after a cut? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a story before I answer that question, bro. Hey, this cat was posted on Facebook the other day, bro. He said, if you don't wash your hair after a cut, you nasty. You a nasty, filthy ass motherfucker. So, I guess I'm just a nasty, filthy motherfucker. Because I don't wash directly after a cut. I take uh, a brush that I don't care for. I brush all the loose hairs out. Sometimes I grab another brush and do the same thing. Brush all the loose hairs out. And um, then I take a rag and I wipe over my hair. Put my product in and keep it going. So to answer that question, a week. I wait at least a week to wash my hair. Hair got super frizzy. Yeah, man, it just depends, bro. It works for some people and some people it don't. But this was a number two. I got a number two with the grain. So, um, waiting a week for me would be perfect because let your hair grow a little bit more, let it get a little darker, and then wash and condition it. You should be straight. But yeah, I like the lay on this butter, man. A lot of y'all um paying a lot of money for basic ingredients that's really where i'm trying to save y'all at you don't have to do that it's better ingredient profile out here available to y'all for the prices y'all be paying no build up no coconut no shea all right Pumpkin seed is, has an antibacterial factor to it. You no, know, if some of y'all got trifling scalps, that pumpkin seed gonna help y'all out a lot. I'll read y'all the ingredients right quick. What's good, everybody? Happy New Year to the new viewers. What's good? 
your wolf hard to lay down right now, it's either time to cut it, time to comb it, time to hard brush it, time to deep condition it, <laughs> or do a hot oil treatment. Sometimes your hair just needs that extra work to lay it down. Does it feel like a moisturizer? Not at all. It feels like a really creamy whipped butter. If you wash your hair correctly before the cut, it's just clean, loose hair. How the hell is that nasty? A lot of people feel like uh, the barber's clippers shed hair from previous cuts, which I get, but I just make sure I brush out all of the loose hairs um, before I add any type of product to my hair. You know what I'm saying? So I've been doing that since forever, and nobody's opinion really going to change that. <laughs> Thanks, Wave Mechanic. Man, really, I hated the lineup. That's why I ain't come and show y'all. But they, but the cut was fire. I'm, I'm, um, I really like the progress that I got for that 11-week wolf. A lot of people wolf all those weeks for nothing. And they get a cut and they just look garbage. Only thing was garbage was my hairline. <laughs> it came with the cut, bro. I'm not even going to hold you. <sighs> How long does it take for it to come in? What? 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 All right. So let me let me get all these ingredients. All right. Pumpkin seed, babusu oil. All right. Sesame seed, sunflower oil, and um, that sesame and sunflower is rich in vitamin E. So that's another thing that's good for your skin. Um, but the main ingredient is pumpkin seed, and y'all can hit Google do y'all research. The pumpkin seed is really, really potent, all right? I appreciate that. D. Tolbert, that is, uh, thanks, Dimitri. D. Tolbert, that's normal, but you want to, um, you want to learn how to maintain your hair, um, to be visible at all times, Okay. You want to get better at training it and laying it so when you're wolfing, your hair won't just look like a, a matted, a big head. You know, a head full of matted hair. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wave mechanic, you ask me that all the time, bro. Yeah, I prefer against the grain cuts, but certain barbers don't feel comfortable with doing it. And um, I didn't go to my normal barber. <laughs> just for the simple fact that uh, our schedules didn't work out and I do regret not not waiting on, on him to cut it because like I said my lineup was total total trash and that shit had me sick <laughs> I was sick <laughs> pattern looking silky Mr. Bloomberg yes sir so what I want to teach y'all man I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna you know I ain't gonna bore y'all but I want to teach y'all if you haven't noticed, I've been more and more consistent uh, with the type of products that I've been using. Um, I've been using less product, and um, I've been pretty much sticking to the fluff line, my fluffy puffs. Uh, not just because I'm an ambassador, but because I like how versatile all the products is. And a lot of people need to learn if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So if you're using something right now that is working for you, you ain't got to buy nothing new. But if you in that spot where you want something that smells better, you want something that works better, you want something that lasts longer, come on over to the dark side. <laughs> ah. To with the grain, Dimitri. I'm going to show y'all. I be crying at some some of these YouTubers' videos, bro. <laughs> yeah, Wavy Burns. Wavy, let see. Wavy Burns. Hell yeah, it's a one-stop shop, bro. For the simple fact that the bars are head to toe. Okay. They got a new scrub. That's when I had to toe, but that's for the body. So all the bars is head to toe. 
the oils for your scalp, two different kinds of growth oil, all right, a thick, a lighter version um, for beards, for y'all fellas with the beards. And then, you know, the foam is for face and hair. And then the wave slime is, is like killing the game right now. So definitely a one-stop shop. Wait, Willie P, what's the fucking deal? Yeah. What's good? Just cop that Do Scully. Do Scully, William. I wish you had a cop when it was uh, $5 off, fam. But definitely. Definitely. I want you to know, man. I don't attach my name to nothing that I personally don't like or feel like is quality enough for somebody else to buy. You know, I just don't get down like that. So, definitely should love your dude Scully, bro. What color did you get? Detober. Oh. <laughs> Hour and five minutes. Oh, what's good, Brenda Miles? Flaming. Thanks. Time to use the softy, y'all. So, um, like I said, as y'all can see, I really don't need, I really don't need this oil. I don't need nothing else to my hair. I really don't. But just because I'm a fiend, I'm going to put a, I'm gonna put two drops of oil in my brush. And that's it. That ain't, I don't really need it. What's good, Drayson? What's good, Sway? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, basically, we're going to get this softy session in. We want the waves to look silky before we dip. You know, we want the waves to look silky tonight when we, when we head out. You know what I'm saying? So, we're just going to make sure everything's shining. Make sure your hair is moisturized. Okay? Make sure it's soft. I hope y'all see this cut and be like, damn, I should have followed her tips when she was wolfing. I should have been I shouldn't have been sleeping on the tips she gave me while she was wolfing. <laughs> Cause I, I did that eleven weeks. I didn't want shit. I held that wolf down down for eleven weeks. It was super dookie. I ain't had no haircut since October. Since uh October. So um Shit, it might have been more than 11 weeks, but don't judge me. <laughs> What's good, 34 viewers? Drop the motherfucking area codes. I'm about to start turning up for the for New Year, man. Let me know where y'all from. I'm in the building. What's good, Alpha? What's the deal? I definitely do recommend dropping light oils in my brush, Mr. Bloomberg. Definitely. The blue one, that's dope, bro. What's good, Mr. Wavy? We got New York in the building. Shout out New York, man. Y'all show me mad love, bro, and I appreciate that. I got a lot, a lot of viewers from New York. I got a lot, a lot, a lot of viewers from uh, Florida. I just want to shout y'all out. Texas in this thing, too. Um, but um, Greenwood, what's good, Ladarius? But, yeah, so this is what y'all going to pretty much see for the next few, uh, for the uh, next week, at least. Mediums softies oils and butters all right to be honest with you i got a fresh cut method dropping i just don't want nobody to take my idea so i can't tell y'all but i'm waiting on this line i'm gonna be brushing my growth oil in wait on this line to fill in so i can get a real lineup what's good houston in this thing and the 2 one i knew it what's good south carolina in the bill Jersey, I fucks with y'all too. Y'all show me mad love too. 40 viewers, happy new year. What's the deal? It's your girl. What's good? <laughs> but yeah, man, I hope y'all regret not listening to me, dog. Hope y'all regret not listening to me. Because... I kept it so G and so simple for the wolf. And I really held that boy down. I hope a lot of y'all learned something. Um, ATL, show that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Shot Town. Hey, Shot Town, man. Y'all now driving through Chinatown, man, a few uh, years ago, bro. Y'all can't drive in, in, in Chicago, bro. For real. <laughs> he said 713-832-281. Damn natural intelligence. Shout out to all of them spots. <laughs> Um, I'm only wolfing for four weeks. Oh, let's go around four weeks. It's probably not even gonna seem like a cut. I'm probably gonna get like two and a half. Don't raise a line and keep it pushing. So, um, I will be working on, I got about two or three forks that I'm going to be working on this, this go around, but I'm going to mainly work on them on wash days and towards week three and four when my hair is thick, I'm also going to show y'all how to use these growth oils. All right. I got Regal 7 and Regal 9. And I'm going to be showing y'all how to really, really get the most out of them. What's good? What's good, Dan Phantom? Memphis, Tennessee. Is it true? <laughs> yes, yeah, a softy, fam. So, basically, um, I'm going to be using a lot, of, a lot of concentrated. Matter of fact, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to show y'all how... If y'all had saw my video or my pictures on Instagram from Florida, when I went in October, my size was low, just like this, okay? And by the time I get done wolfing around six to eight weeks, my size is fully grown in and waved up. So, what I do is just the tip of the brush, I put like three dots of oil. <laughs> And I go right at the uh, edges with it. I go right at the edges with it. And I do that sometimes at the end of the session or some days when I'm blind brushing. I just do that and, you know, just um, really brush in the oil on my thin spots. And then you just keep doing that until it grow in. So probably in another week, I'll be getting... So you do the other side. Probably in another week, I'll be getting a nice razor line, no taper. And I want it to be real nice and full. So that's what you do. Don't overcomplicate it, you know. Keep everything easy and simple. I'm shifting my crown on another angle. Get my flow right. I should cut low. Shift. I stay high at it too. Um, I say get a one and a half. And see if things is moving. If uh, if things ain't moving, then go a little lower. If you stay high, overwash. That's a good tip. Good tips, yes. <laughs> for sure, Wavy. I right, been doing it a little four times like Zay be doing. Um, I, I went through, I go through a period of overwashing when I start the wolf. Uh... Not on a week to week basis. Maybe maybe one week I might wash four times. Um, if me and Raynard end up on the same schedule, I wash when Raynard wash because he wash a lot. Um, but generally, I don't just like consistently overwash, um, especially with it being winter. You know what I'm saying? I get sick easy, so I get to overwash and run around with a wet ass do rag all day. I'm be looking dead. <laughs> Regal, um, that's Regal 9, but I do got my hands on some Regal 7, uh, and I will be using that. 
towards the end because that Regal 7 will grow you fast. So basically, I just want to show y'all, man. The hair is silky, man. Hair is silky, bruh. The hair is silky. All right. The hair is silky. Nice. It held that 11 weeks down. Dope. Anyway. But when your hair is a two and above, your um, soft brush should be able to lay your hair. So. Also at this length, I'm not gonna be using no plastic bags. I just don't just so uh, this if anybody got it uh, follow me. I'm up to something on Instagram. Um sometimes I have a lot of Instagram exclusive content, giveaways, stuff like that. So, I do want to um, let y'all know I do. I'm um, doing a giveaway. I'm going to show y'all something that's going to make y'all jealous. That way, y'all will pay attention. All right. For next time, I did a bomb giveaway on Waves Our Life. WRL is a Facebook page. Um, that's my new home right now. <laughs> what that brush do. Okay. WTBD. All right. And I did a giveaway. I uh, um, autographed two brushes. Autograph this Fat Booty Club. I don't want to get no oil on it. Fat Booty Club is a royalty. Autographed it. <laughs> and I autographed this Curve. Alright, I autographed this. I picked two winners. It was a huge turnout. Huge turnout. Um, a lot of people participated it. Participated it. Wow. A lot of people participated and uh, really appreciated it. So, I'll be running a similar giveaway over here. Y'all know YouTube is my home home. So, I'm going to be doing a brush giveaway. Durag. Uh, OVB Silky Durag Ocean Views Beauty. Uh, silky Durag and hell, something my fluffy pups related. Um, so, stay tuned. I'm trying to get to that 10K. I have a massive, massive, massive giveaway plan for that 10K. All right. But if y'all looking for another giveaway, I'm doing giveaways on a few more Facebook pages. And I'm doing uh, an Instagram exclusive giveaway, too. So. <laughs> I know you blocked, Danny. I know who you are, man. I know you blocked, fam. You know what, D. Tolbert? I heard that. And I, I just got a... Grab my nuts, you know what I'm saying? Just do it. I like I like kicking and like talking. I like giving my perspective. So um I'm gonna get at some thought. I might, might give it some effort in 2020. Who knows? All right. So um if y'all want that Instagram giveaway, of course it's not gonna be tonight. Everybody turning up, nobody gonna really be on the gram that much. But um Add me on Instagram. The link is below. If y'all want to shop the My Fluffy Puffs, the link is below. If you want to join Waves Our Life, the link is also below. Podcast will be dope, or word. We might be able to get a new start, Danny. I think about it, fam. I think about it. Oh, yeah. You're going to love it, Darius. All right. So, and I also got a few other videos coming. Um... We're going to recap a lot of stuff, man. I'm trying to do a new year, new camera. So we'll see how that work out. <laughs> but um, wrap this thing up. I want everybody to be safe. I'm glad that y'all took some time out y'all New Year's Eve to come rock with me for 36 minutes. Um, and hope y'all uh, cop. If you don't, that's cool too. We need this video application. We need this video application. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Um, it's your girl, G3. I'm live from 3 on 3. Big WTPT. Tell us now.